All right, here in the final video in our series of answering letters, I thought I would get into the thing of our contact policy that we have here. Um, because I realize there's new people that come along, you don't understand why, is his, why doesn't he have an email address or other contact info at his website. Um, I need to explain a few things if you're new to the ministry and our, about our letter writing policies. If you want to write to us, the kind of letters I answer, the whole thing. Uh, many years ago, 2008, November 2008, I joined YouTube originally as a logging channel and then I started uploading um, video, like ministry type videos in 2009. Some of those are, most of those are down now. Um, but uh, I've been doing YouTube for many years now, almost 12 years. And at first it was a few, you know, subscribers here and there, less than 100. And then it just picked up and picked up and picked up and picked up. And about the time my wife showed up, we had a couple thousand subscribers. And um, we were getting uh, right around four to 500 emails a day, I think it was. I don't, it's been so long ago. Don't quote me on that. Um, but it was, it was a lot of emails. And uh, what was happening, the problem with email was that you had... I had people that were copying and pasting something from a website. You know, they copy it from a website, paste it into an email. Hey, brother, could you please answer this? Boom, and send it. And I'm getting, you know, 20 pages of stuff to answer. And, I, and it, I'm just spending, I mean, I'd spend all day, you know, seven, eight hours a day. You know, I'm saying actual work time, not doing other things and trying to study the Bible and whatever, but spending just hours and hours and hours and hours and hours answering emails. Well, the problem was, okay, that person had their questions answered, but nobody else did. And so it's just private email correspondence with all these different people. And great, I'm helping them and I'm helping them and I'm helping them. But then I realized, you know, I could really answer these questions in a video like a sermon. And it would be better because then I'm answering the questions of a lot of people and not just this one person that emailed me. And so that's what changed there. Um, I realized, okay, I'm going to have to give up either the video ministry or I'm going to have to give up, uh, you know, answering emails. Well, the email thing went away. And, um, but we still want to hear from people. We still want to be in contact with people. So, uh, you know, we do meet people in the local area here and things occasionally. Um, but, you know, there's not that many people up here in northern Maine, so compared to other places. Um, so we don't meet with people on a regular, you know, just every week we're meeting with, you know, 50 people or something. Um, but we have dealt with a lot of people over the years and we switched from email to now, you know, write us letters. Okay. Write us letters in the mail. And what that does is it kind of weeds out the people that just want to send a bunch of email type of stuff and attack me and whatever through email. Now they have to commit themselves to actually sitting down and writing a letter. And, you know, again, it doesn't matter. I mean, here's one of the, another letter that we got. And, you know, you can see they still left the ripped little hole things there. They didn't even bother cutting that off or whatever, which is fine. We don't care. We've gotten little scraps of paper with a handwritten note. Praise the Lord. Great. Uh, you can print things out too, like that. If you have a printer with your computer, fine. Um, we enjoy those things. And, uh, you know, there's a attack out there on me that, the only answer, or the only letters I answer are those that come with donations. Well, uh, these people, people out there that, that tell you personal details about myself and my wife, you say the very simple thing is, okay, do you know them personally? Do you know them? Have you actually been there and seen this? Because if you haven't, then you need to shut your mouth. You're lying. All right. It's not true. Um, I don't even know what the ratio is, but a lot of those letters I answered today, there was no donation with them. Donations don't mean that your answer, or your letter gets answered quicker. You know, the only reason I would answer somebody quickly that sends a donation is if they would request, please let me know, did you get this? Usually we'll try to answer fairly quickly. Sometimes it gets mixed in with the other letters to answer, and i sorry about that. Um, again, we lack organization, which our new office coming up here in the future is going to add to that organization, Lord willing, if we can get everything worked out correctly. So when somebody commits themselves to writing a letter offline, now it's going to get to us and we're going to read it. We read everything that comes in. Um, we rarely, rarely ever uh, 
um, throw out letters. Okay, um, we did throw out two recently. The one was from some nutty philosophy student at a university that was asking all these philosophical questions. I said, I'm not wasting it. Don't even read the letter. It's giving me a headache. I mean, it just... You just look at this and you think, what? Where are you coming up with this stuff? It was just, bleh. And then the other one was some weird, bizarre thing. This guy was saying that if you, he's got energy and the Christ consciousness in him, and if you put your hand above his head, you can have a thing that happens in intimacy. And it's just, okay, yeah, I really don't want to, you know, hear any more of the letter, please, you know. And so, I mean, this, literally, that's the only two letters we've thrown out probably the whole year. And I just said, uh, you know, just because we'll read them on the way home or go to the post office, get the letters. We're opening them up, reading them as we're driving a lot of times. Or we might save them until we get back here. But we read them very quickly after opening them. Um, so that's the policy. Uh, will that change in the future? I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see what the Lord does with the future of the ministry. Now that there will be the new office, um, we're going to have... Uh, I think a better system, hopefully, Lord willing, be able to meet with people better. Um, that's a big you know, uh, answer to our prayers, actually, to be actually able to have a place that, you know, I don't know, the place we had in Bridgewater, I don't even know if we could have had a lot of people in there because it probably would have fallen down. <laughs> you know, there, I mean, the, literally the, the uh, north, it would have been the north, uh, well, northwest wall, I think, the corner of the, the wall was literally starting to cave in. And I put wood supports down in the basement to kind of keep it up. And, uh, you know, bad, bad thing there. Um, so thankfully, our, our new place is structurally sound. Uh, so we're very happy about that. Um, so what other opportunities will be there? Only time will tell. We'll have to see. But I just want to say this. Just throw this offer out there to all the big mouths that like to attack this ministry. Um, if you want to confront me, instead of being your little coward with your little live streams on your little YouTube channel, be a real man, write a letter, put your points. Could you please clarify your point on this? Could you please clarify your point on this and this and this and this and that? Keep it short and to the point. Don't send me some big tablet of information to go through or whatever else. I'm going to chuck that in the trash, more than likely. You want to prove me wrong or whatever else and stuff? You want to go after me? Okay. Be man enough to actually send me a letter. Okay? Shoot off your little mouth there and your little YouTube channel and whatever else. Or you can send me a letter. Be a real man and send me a letter. All right? Um, and I will read it. I will promise you that. Okay? And don't send me a donation because I will send it back. If you're one of my enemies, I don't want your money. Ever. For any reason. Literally had Steven Anderson donate to me the one time. And, uh, you know, trying to, he's trying to get my email address, I think. And um, donates to me, and I sent it right back through PayPal. Nope, rejected, send it back. <laughs> don't want your money. Um, so I don't care about your money. If you want to stop running your mouth and actually send me questions, condensed, to the point, here you go. Please answer this in a video. You got it. Okay. Now, I've said that. I've put that offer out there. And I realize I could say, so stop running your mouth. Stop with your little videos, things that tirades against me. But that's really the whole purpose of your life. So, you know, and I'm sure that a lot of you little sick devils out there are chomping at the bit right now, waiting till I make the announcement of the new office so that you can just get up there and do your little live streams in your little dimly lit room with your pale skin collar and everything because you don't go outside in the sun much. You know, little vampires that you are. Um, you know, I mean, get a life, okay? Well, I can confront you. I could, I could bury down there. Okay, okay, honey, send me a list. All right, I'm not afraid of any of you. Big, oh, you're a big scholar. You know the Bible so much better than me. Send me a list. Send me your questions, and I will answer them. Okay. So I do thank all the people out there that have written over the years all these letters that we went through uh i'm going to shut the camera off now and i think just kind of fall over on the floor now just kidding. <laughs> kind of feel that way but uh <laughs> takes it out of you if you, you you get into ministry you know the one brother from the netherlands that, that said he wants to get into ministry um 
there's a there's a weird thing when you're in in service of the Lord and you get done with a lot of preaching or teaching of God's Word, something that you really put a lot of energy in, it will make you tired on a level that you won't even believe because it's physical and spiritual. You're wearing out your body and your soul and your spirit and you're just kind of, oh, okay, I'm really tired now. You know, I mean, I can literally go out and work all day out logging or whatever else, doing firewood, splitting firewood by hand, and I don't get as tired as I do from something like this. <laughs> you know, I'm in front of the camera going over, you know, scriptures, going through letters, answering people the best I can for four or five hours, and it just you know, wipes me out. So, but I'm thankful for it. So that is going to be it. Like I said, thank you to everybody out there for sending letters, uh, for donating to the ministry, for keeping us going. Big plans in the future. Um, the enemies of uh, this ministry are going to have a cow. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be fun. I can hardly wait. So uh, we will see you in upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.